I cannot answer that because obviously, uh, as they say, it takes two hands to clap. But I pose the issue and I pose the issue in this manner, that if you look at the last uh, 75 plus years uh, of our foreign policy, uh, we have had a strain of realism about China and we have had a strain of, uh, I can say you can call it idealism, romanticism, non-realism non you can say. And it begins right from, from in a sense from day one, I mean where there is a very sharp difference of opinion how to respond to China between Nehru and Sardar Patel. I am giving a certain uh, attitude here. So, I would say uh, the Modi government and has been very much more in conformity with the strain of realism which originated from Sardar Patel. And you mentioned the, uh, the romanticism of the Nehruvian era. Yes, yes. Now, and then you talk about no, the and, and I have given some yeah. examples. I mean, where, where, you know, even when it came, for example, uh, to uh, the UN, hmm. uh, UN Security Council seat. Now, again, it is not my case that we should have necessarily taken the seat. It is a, it's a, that is a different debate. But to say that, you know, we should first let China, you know, China's interests should come first. You know, that's that's a very uh, it's a very uh, peculiar statement to make. And you, you know. also write that there was no reciprocity in the years after Absolutely. that from China. Yeah, no. So there is a judgment here. There is first a judgment about what we should do. Then there's a judgment about what you should expect. Hmm. You know. So I I think today you know what will happen with China. I mean, I argue for dealing with China from a basis of realism, which. That strain of realism, which I feel extends all the way from Sardar Patel to Narendra Modi, that is the strain of realism which I feel uh, should should uh, allow us to uh, have a certain approach. The alternative strain, which starts from Nehru, Nehru's in a sense China first policy, because yeah. he says first let China take its seat, then we will see for India. China okay? first. So from China first policy, it ends up as Chindia policy. I know today. people had huh. forgotten that horrible term, Chindia. Well, I, I think you, you should mentioned ask, it. You should ask the inventor of the term. Huh. Yeah, it's very cringeworthy to read it today. But when there you are. Yeah, uh, you've been ambassador in China. You've met with several of your predecessors who were foreign ministers. Uh, you, as a foreign minister, as an external affairs minister, how do you see uh, the pivot that India has taken with regard to China? No, I, I don't think. Look. I don't believe it's a pivot we have taken. You know, we, we have tried to construct a relationship which is based, as I say, on three mutuals. Mm. Uh, and the the fact is that unless there is a mutuality of a, you know that mutuality is recognized, mm. uh, this relationship will find it very difficult to progress. And today, part of our problem. Uh, is exactly bec the, because in 2020 agreements were disregarded and the, the mutuality on which this whole relationship is predicated has not been followed that we have the situation we have. So, when you ask me where would it go, I would say it, uh, it lot of it would depend on what is the Chinese policy. Namaskar, I am Gupta. If you like this video, please like and share it. हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज़ 24